fucking excited about this shit. Now, needless to say, thousands, literally thousands of people have uh, contributed to this. The last two years, as President Clinton strongly resisted, came on top. From the siege of Garajda to the killing fields of Srebrenica and Birchko, the conflict made obscure Balkan place names into household words around kitchen tables in the heartland of America. The war also added a new phrase to the glossary of this century, ethnic cleansing, inscribed right there next to final solution as an administrative euphemism for genocide. Citing numerous other examples of how American engagement and American leadership served to advance more than we as a nation seem now willing to pay. We, the United States, we, the international community, got our act together. We did so not as soon as we should have or as soon as we would have liked, but we did it effectively nonetheless. All that short-sighted and counterproductive. It's really emotional to be back here because one year ago today was a very particularly difficult day. And it's, it's very emotional. What do you expect to accomplish in the coming year? Depending on who that person was, he or she might have said a new role and a new operation for me. I think we're on our way. But um, I would not at all say that everything has been dealt with, everything has been solved. A lot of hard work. The president has extended the U.S. commitment to have troops there for 18 months out of the realization that there's a lot of hard work to do. But one year later, um, there is no war, and that is really important, and there is not going to be any war. I was able to integrate all the things we talked about.